Hello everyone, I'm Stephanie here at William B. Harlan Memorial Library, and today I just want to show everybody something interesting for Black History Month. I have been inspired by this lady who I found on Pinterest and the internet. Her name is Alma Woodsy Thomas. She did a lot of beautiful, colorful, abstract paintings. Very neat. And of course, this picture here is displayed at the White House in Washington, D.C. But she has done very beautiful work. You can see the colors in her pictures. And here's some more here on the back. Very colorful work. So I've just been trying to do some on my own. Of course, mine's nothing compared to hers, but just to learn how and you know, to learn how the, to do the colors and stuff has been really interesting to do. And now I've just been starting off on some paper. And of course my medium I've been using is just markers and crayons. Now, of course, Alma used paint and stuff to do her paintings. But now me, I'm just using markers or crayons or just whatever I have available. And of course, I'm practicing on paper right now until I can get better at it to put it on a canvas. And of course, another thing with this work, you will need a ruler and then a compass. Oh, how many of you have used a compass? And of course, some writing utensils that you will use lightly. But here's some more that I have just practiced with. Now, like I said, I'm just starting off, so I'm not the best, but it has been so much fun to draw these shapes and everything and to use this color. Now this, you probably won't be able to see as well. I used a, a light crayon for it, but it was very unique. And of course, little dashes and stuff but just trying to get a, a feel of, you know, how to do this. But now you can just start off, of course, using a compass and making some circles. Now I'm not very good at using a compass, so I'm gonna use a little, put a little dot in the center so I'll know where to put my compass at and just start making circles is what I did for my first one. And then, of course, you've got some measurements on your compass so you'll know where to go next. And of course, you can also just turn your paper around, make it easier. And then you just keep going in circles. This is how I did my first drawing. And then I'm going to make one more circle for this one. Now, if you can see, I've just drawn some circles on a piece of paper. And then I'm just going to take these markers and start filling them in. kind of filling in whatever. Now the center, of course, if you've noticed on her picture, of course, it's just a solid color. Of course, and another thing that I've noticed about her art, you can do anything that you want to do. It's just, and that's another thing that I like about her paintings. It's just very creative, just however you want to do it.
but I love the colors that she uses. And some of them, it looks like kind of like rainbow, kind of looks like a rainbow. This one picture that I had showed you first, of course, you've got your different blues, shades of blues and reds and orange and yellows. It's very, very neat what she's got, very neat. And then I love this one down here at the bottom too. And you can see this looks like that she has drawn out like a triangle and then painted and worked around it. So very neat. But that's, I have drawn my circles and I have uh, colored the one in the center. Now I'm gonna take another color and I'm gonna try this hot pink. And I'm just gonna put some large dots just going around. That's how I did my other picture. You can make them real big or small. It's just however you want to do your drawing. Or your painting. But you can see I've got this filled in. See how neat this is? And this is what I like about this. You just be creative. Just do what you want to do. Just something fun to do. I'm going to do, let's see, orange next. Of course, I love the way she did the colors, but if you've noticed, you can... Use whatever you want as well. These are kind of like dashes going around. You can see what I've done there. And then I'm gonna use one more color. This is kind of a lighter cut of orange. say look how cool this is and how neat it is but i hope you all get to try this it's very easy very simple and you can use any medium you want especially to start out and then maybe you can try it with the paints i'm hoping to try it with the paints later but thank you all for listening and be safe